More violence on the streets of Seattle, Minneapolis, Chicago, all over this country. 99 people shot in Chicago, a three-year-old child killed, a young man killed in Seattle in the so-called, whatever you call it, zone. The violence is continuing. And just this weekend, the president gave a speech. He had one of his rallies, and he said, well, let the Democrats hang in the wind on this. They're going to be hurt politically. Well, that is not, and I'm telling you, tough love right now, Mr. President, because I support you. I want you to be reelected in my personal capacity. I say that. I don't say that as the head of Freedom Watch, but I say that personally. I will vote for you. There is no alternative. But if you're president, you have to lead, but don't follow or otherwise get out of the way. Because it's not right to play politics with what's going on right now. And I don't care how many people out there think that I should be Sean Hannity and the simply Tokyo Rose cheerleader for this president. I'm not going to do it. I'm not Hannity. I'm not brain dead. I, know, I can see what's going on. This country is falling apart. And you can't sit there and watch what goes on and say, well, it's good because it's going to get me more votes in November of this year. No way that's going to happen. And the American people are going to rise up and you're going to lose your base. You're already losing your base. And that's important. And you better take care of business as well with your do-nothing, overstuffed Attorney General Bill Barr. I just watched his interview very quickly over the weekend. He's looking down. He's embarrassed to even say what, if anything, this so-called investigator, lawyer in Connecticut, John Durham, is doing. He says there's going to be developments from that Fox News, typically, to boost viewership, to boost their ratings, to boost their advertising dollars, says, well, something big is going to happen. If that's the best that this attorney general can do is say there's developments and it will continue, except if the president does not win, that tells you something. There is no law and order. You have no Justice Department. We are left totally defenseless. Uh, the police are out there hanging out to dry. I have police, former police in my family. Others do as well. Uh, they're at risk. And the country, frankly, is going down. I've got to tell it like it is. I've got to tell it like it is. In fact, you know, I started a new subgroup of Freedom Watch. It's called the New American Militia. It's peaceful and legal. We don't advocate doing anything offensive, violent, or anything like that. But the American people better think seriously about using their Second Amendment rights of self-defense right now and get ready because soon they're going to be in front of your house demanding your keys, not just to your house, but to your car, everything else that you own, turn it over. I mean, we're going to turn into, and I was against apartheid. As a young lawyer, I'll tell you something. The South African government, I was with an international trade law firm and we represented the South African steel industry. When I started my own law firm, the South African government came to me and said, Larry, will you represent us? Because I was doing the work for the senior partner. I said, no, I will not, because I don't like what you do, and I don't like your dishonesty, okay? But I'll tell you something. What happened after the African National Congress took over South Africa was that the property of the whites were confiscated without compensation, farms, and things like that, and this is where we're headed in this country. So prepare to turn it all over to these radicals, these radicals on the black left, the atheists, the people who despise Jews and Christians, others out there, radicals of all sorts. And unless the president stands up to this, then the American people must be prepared to defend themselves. And I say defend, not to hurt anybody, but you be prepared. And that's my message for today. Just like we need to be prepared with the coronavirus. And it's Freedom Watch who brought the lawsuit in Dallas, Texas, the class action. You can sign up to see if you qualify at freedomwatchusa.org. We also have one in Jerusalem, Israel. I now have two expert witnesses that will testify that this was a bioweapon. And watch what we do otherwise, because it was exchanged to and from the United States and the Wuhan lab in China. And who was behind it? Dr. Anthony Fauci. So watch what we do with Fauci because he's going to be held accountable as well. And Obama, he authorized $3.7 million. Actually, it was close to $5 million to let the Chinese do research on this because it would be illegal to do research on this virus in the United States. And what happened? It got out. They're intentionally or accidentally 
and it's destroyed this country, and it's destroyed the world. This is what's going on right now. You can't believe anything the government says. I repeat that. You cannot believe anything they say. Also, all these masks that Governor Newsom is saying need to be worn in California and everywhere else, they're actually counterproductive because they don't let you develop immunity. You're breathing carbon monoxide. Social distancing is good. Washing your hands is good. Take precautions. But the masks are counterproductive. And watch what we do. We're going to be bringing a lawsuit on that as well. I don't believe a word the government says. And that's one thing the left and right has in common. We don't believe anything that's being said. We've been sold out by these greedy politicians in Washington, D.C. that continue to stuff money into their pocket, acquire power, and the president needs to take control. He can't sit back and be laughing in the White House at how the Democrats are the anti-law and order party. He has to take action himself. That's why he's president. Enough talk, enough tweeting, get the job done. At Freedom Watch, we're taking the lead. We deserve to be supported by this president. We probably haven't so far because of Roger Stone, because I've sued him seven times for defaming Jerry Corsi and me. He's a bad person. He shouldn't get immunity. If the president gives him immunity, he's going to lose more votes because it shows the hypocrisy of his law and order stance. Convicted on seven counts of perjury, witness tampering, obstruction of justice, presented no witnesses at trial. He's guilty as hell. And therefore, the president needs to step up to the plate and start doing the right thing. Now, this is tough love, okay, because few conservatives will criticize. And again, I'm not Tokyo Rose or Tokyo Hannity. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm here on behalf of the American people. So, president, do your job. That's my message for today. And go to freedomwatchusa.org. Sign up for our class action in Dallas, Texas. And we're also, we're doing one in Jerusalem, Israel. We have a criminal complaint in The Hague, Holland, against the communist Chinese leadership to have them thrown in prison. We are taking the lead. We are your Justice Department. And share this podcast at iTunes, Spotify, Roku, Amazon Fire, Facebook, Twitter, freedomwatchusa.org, radioamerica.com. And I thank America, Radio America, for always allowing me to tell the truth as I see it. God bless you. God bless your family. God save your family and God save this country. Thank you for listening to me.